Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a box opening today. As you can see from the title, it's an item from Fendi. So I am pretty excited about this item. I actually had this item for um, about like a week or more now. And the only reason why I haven't really opened this is one, because I haven't had the time to do this box opening. And then the other reason is because I kind of got a little bit of like a buyer's remorse. Uh, so I'm not honestly sure if I'm going to keep this item um, for a couple reasons which I will kind of cover with you guys but I did want to still do a box opening for you guys to see and kind of see what you guys think about this hi Emmy so Emmy is up here to say hi and she's going to join us on this box opening as she kicks the bag over so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so as you can see this is from Fendi um, opening the box we have in here a beautifully wrapped box the associates there were extremely nice they were very friendly and very helpful I do love that they were able to kind of um, help me select on a piece I think it was just really hard to select on a piece really is because I didn't really love any one of them i knew i wanted to get a um if you don't already know from the title i did want to get a charm for my bag uh, but i didn't particularly love any one of the ones that they had i think i liked one of them but then now fendi is kind of going on a trend where their charms are very tiny so i'm not too keen on the smaller charms per se so just to open the box, um, you have the little ribbon tie here. I don't personally like to untie these because you can literally just take it off like so. So that we can kind of keep the shape still on there. Um, but I'll take that ribbon off first. And then next, opening the box, we have the little charm. So we have the little baggie. Uh, this is a dust bag. It's got a little drawstring on here and also my receipt so I got this from Saks so I do happen to have like a Fendi store inside of Saks nearby luckily so I was able to go there for that and then we have let's see here the little charm and this is what the charm looks like so it is this right here um I guess the reason why I'm like not so sure about it is because it is a monster but it's not like the classic monster i know that the newer monsters now this is kind of what they're doing because they don't want as big of a monster anymore if that makes sense uh to some people this may be considered big but i kind of wanted even bigger if that, if that sounds crazy I'm not sure uh, but this is the one that I got so this has a mixed metal of gold and also silver hardware and then the pom-pom is pink this is one of the newer ones so you can find it online I'm gonna go ahead and try this on my purses so you can see I did look at a couple different ones as well I'm not going to take the tag off just because I'm not sure like I said if I'm gonna keep it or not keep it I'm still kind of in that deciding phase right now but I'll try it on the purse and then before I go do that I'm gonna show you guys a skit of the other two charms that I was looking at um, versus this one so one of the other two charms that I looked at was this one right here. It has the black fur and then it has a light pink and dark pink of the double F's, which is the Fendi logo. Uh, from afar, you can see the reason why I didn't pick this is because the F's aren't really prominent. It looks kind of weird from afar, really, in my opinion. The other one is this Fendi monster right here. I actually still kind of really love this one. I guess it's just really a really like a classic look and from afar I think it still looks really cute um, the only reason why I didn't get this one was because it didn't match all of my bags I felt like it was like a one bag thing so the first bag that I'm gonna try this charm on is going to be my Givenchy Antigona if you guys have watched my channel before I do have a box opening for this as well and I also have a what fits inside this bag and also a what type of outfits kind of go with this. Uh, really all of them are just to help you guys decide if this is a bag that you guys would like to purchase yourself. This is the Antigona or Antigona. 
I still can't decide which one it is. Um, if you guys know which one it's supposed to be, let me know. Go ahead and comment down below. Um, but Antigona, Antigona, this is the one in the smooth calf scan. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the charm here. Uh, so for this bag specifically, uh, there's really only three spots you can put this bag on. Um, I mean charm on, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here first. And I'll just insert it right over here. So this is what the charm would look like with the bag. Uh, I guess I would really put it on the other side since I do hold the bag with the name sticking out front and I am right handed so I'll actually place it on this side. So here is what the charm looks like on the bag. Um, I know it's like, I know that you guys are going to probably think this is a pretty big charm. What is she talking about? But I don't know why. I just want it even bigger. I just want a ginormous charm for some unknown reason. But here is what it looks like. Uh, I guess I kind of picked this one out just because it's got the gold. Um, it's got the silver. So it kind of creates like a mixed metal situation here. And that way I can kind of use it for, oops, for other bags as well. But that is what this one looks like with it on the bag and if I hold it on my shoulder this is what it would look like it would kind of just dangle right over here and same thing on the crook of the arm like that now the other spot you could put this charm on would be on the zipper uh, I'm not sure if I would want to do that I feel like that might be more of a hassle than anything and I feel like it would kind of wear out the charm a lot because of the constant pulling and tugging as far as on the actual metal piece as well as on my purse and then the other thing is if I'm grabbing this thing consistently I feel like it's going to get dirty so I'll show it to you guys anyway I think a lot of people display the charms on the bag on the zipper just because you can move the zipper around to show the charm a little bit more so if it was on the zipper I would imagine I would kind of leave the zipper kind of not zipped all the way up and leave it right here. So that is what it'll look like on the zipper. Obviously, if you're opening the bag, it's going to be kind of annoying because this is going to get in the way. I'm almost tempted to pull the actual charm to open and close. And if you close it all the way, it would hang right here. So really the same place as like if you put it on the little thing right here. So if you would put on the zipper, I would just kind of leave it slightly open. That way it dangles out in the front of the bag. So that is bag number one. That is what it looks like on this bag. I'm going to go ahead and try it on bag number two. So the second bag, I'm going to go ahead and try this charm on. This is kind of like the love of my life bag, really. Um, because this bag goes with absolutely everything and I feel like maybe because it was also my first bag I love it a lot so I feel like anything kind of goes with this bag to be honest but for this bag you have a couple spots so you could hang it on here you could also hang it on the tag uh, that I have here which is a luggage tag it's a smaller size one I do have a video on do I have a video on this one? I'm not sure I have a video on this one, but I have one on the bigger one. So I did get the smaller one. And then you can also hang it on the loop right here. And then of course it also comes with like a little clutch inside that you can also hang the little charm on as well if you were to carry it by itself. So let's go ahead and start with hanging right here. I feel like this would be the spot that you can kind of see it the most, like that. So there is what the charm looks like on the Never Full MM in the Abine color. So that is what that one looks like right there. I'm also going to try it on this hoop next. So on the hoop, I kind of like that because you can see the tag and the monster, but I don't know if it's an overkill. Uh, leave a comment if you think it is an overkill. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I just want a lot of stuff going on. 
But so that is what it looks like over there. If you hold it like this, you would actually kind of see it more up front. Now, of course, you know that the Never Fool, you can actually cinch the bag together as well. I have these little holders inside, so let me take that out so you guys can see. Let's have some leftover stuff from what. So, you could potentially cinch this up. You could still cinch it even with the little monster on there. You would have to cinch the other side as well. I do hold this purse sometimes cinched. Not really often though. Um, to be honest, I always carry my laptop with me, so it kind of works better with the cinching not occurring when I have a laptop in there because it won't fit without it. So that is with the bag cinched. And then I will show you up front as well. And then this time I will hook it onto the hook here that is holding the tag and it actually completely hides the tag but it will bring the monster a little lower per se so that is what it looks like with that next I'm gonna go ahead and plop this onto the little wristlet so you guys can see that as well it's not exactly I know that's not exactly like another bag but I do hold my wristlet separately I know when I go on vacation if I bring my never full I tend to use the wristlet when I'm going out like at night to dinner or something like that um, I would use the small one so here is my wristlet I use this pretty often uh, because I actually keep this in my Antigona which I'm using right now as a little kind of like cosmetic pouch I don't have a pr cosmetic pouch right now so I am in the market to find one so this one I'm thinking I could hook it onto the little hook here there you go so here is it with the little clutch and I guess you know the other thing I do like is this you can kind of easily kind of turn it around so it is pretty functional in that way where the other monsters that I did try you couldn't flip it so you had to kind of like put it on there a little bit weird to make sure the face is facing outwards uh, but here is what it looks like on the clutch hold it like that hold it like that so it is actually really cute on the clutch I actually kind of really like that so the third bag is going to be another never full uh, I know that I showed you the same style already but I just want to show you guys different colorways that this charm could potentially go on. Um, so this one is kind of more like a white with like the grayish, bluish checkered on there. Um, this is the Damia Azur. So for this one, I would think that it would go with it really a lot. But for some reason, after I put it on there, I don't feel like it goes as well as I thought it would. So I'm going to show you guys so you guys can see... And the other thing is, I don't know, maybe I don't, I don't really use this bag a lot. So I think it's just because I'm really annoyed at taking care of the Fischetta leather because it does kind of, you know, color over time. I know it's going to do it regardless of whether I take it out or not, but I am just not a fan of the darker, like, complexion next to the white. I really liked it when I first got it when it was lighter, so... Uh, I don't know maybe that's why I haven't been using it the other thing is I feel like okay I want to wear this I can't wear jeans I can't wear this I can't wear that I'm so scared of a color transfer that I just don't quite grab it I think the last time I used this was I used the clutch for my vacation I brought the bag but I didn't use the bag I just used the clutch so Again, haven't really been using it, but this is what the charm looks like on there. So it is really cute. I think it's just really cute because I have the pink interior with the rose ballerine color. So it goes with the pink very well. Um, here is what it looks like from the side view. And then I'm going to go ahead and cinch it up and I'll show you with the little clutch as well. So, let's cinch this baby up. And that's the other thing. I feel like that instead. So here is what it looks like with the bag cinched. So this is what it looks like. And then I'll go ahead and attach it on the front for you guys as well. 
I definitely like it on the front more when it is cinched because you can see the little charm more. Um, but that is what that one looks like. So here is the clutch. I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. Uh, the clutch is not being used right now, so it's completely flat in comparison to the other one. So I guess in a way you can see what it'll look like if it was not as full of a clutch as well. So here is what that one looks like. I do like it against the white. I feel like it definitely popped more with the brown though. But I do like the fact that it is mixed gold and silver. So it still goes with the gold in my opinion. It can still go together versus some of the other charms that just had silver hardware. I feel like it would be a little bit weird to stick on something with gold hardware. So that does conclude my little box opening for you guys. Again, here is the charm. I'm going to do a close up of the charm for you guys to look at as well. I know this is kind of a little bit farther away, so I'm going to do a close up for you guys um, so you can see the details and everything on this. Let me know if you think I should keep this or not keep this. This was a little bit on the pricier end, so I just don't feel like if I can justify it, especially because it is in my opinion, a little bit smaller than what I would have wanted. So for the price point that it is, I feel like Fendi did not quite deliver on size. That's the only thing that I feel like is gonna hold me back from keeping this. For some reason, I'm not sure if I like the monster's eyes on the top, but I don't know, it's a new twist. It's something new, it's something different, so. I was giving it an option. That is Luna playing with the cord right there. Uh, but anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know. I'm going to stick the close-up right now. Here's what this charm looks like a little bit more up close. Um, you have the pom-pom on the bottom, and then you have the eyes with the eyebrow on top. This features a light pink as well as a dark pink on the eyebrows. So looking up close, if you look at the eyeballs, it's kind of like a pyramid shape. It's pretty thick from the side and it still has a logo tag dangling on it which says Fendi which is right here. The chain is pretty thick and then the clasp also says Fendi and it opens like so. That is the charm right there. Also, by the way, if you guys would like to see how I did these marble nails, this is dip powder and I did them myself. I can definitely do a video on that. Let me know if that is something you guys would be interested in doing. All right guys, so this concludes today's box opening. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.